Welcome back. You're watching us here on Bazaar Morning Call on CNBC TV 18. In case you just joined us, you're in for a good start. That's what the SGX Nifty is indicating. And this despite the weakness that we saw overnight on Wall Street and the weakness that we're seeing in Asian indices. What happens after we open is the big question. We have uh, Devin Choksi with us now. Devin, good morning. Uh, you know, overnight we did have good results coming in. Uh, two that stood out in particular were from the cement pack. We had Nuvoco Vistas and Bidla Corp reporting their numbers. What do you make of them and what do you make of this pack in general, given that this is an election-heavy year? Hi, good morning. Uh, well, I think uh, most of the cement companies are possibly having green advantages currently. One, the demand of tech has started improving in different, different pockets, particularly because of the government's thrust on infrastructure and the spending thereon. So certainly, uh, the confirmation is coming out as far as the project-related of tech is concerned. I think most of the companies are reporting positive uh, numbers as far as uh, out, uh, the monthly outcomes are concerned on the production side. And at the same time, uh, because of the cost of production remaining under control, along with uh, the logistic cost, is again suggesting that going forward, we should be having relatively better margins to talk about. In this particular quarter, that is the first quarter of the new financial year, I believe that numbers would be quite uh, handsome compared to what one has seen in the previous quarters of the last financial year. So from a perspective of looking at cement as a, uh, as a, as a space, I think, for investment, I guess I think they are, whatever the trouble times that they had to uh, go through in the last year, probably they have completed that. And I, I would believe that uh, the higher amount of uh, offtake, and at the same time, the uh, margin stability would probably allow these stocks to perform better than what they did in the last year. Mm. hi, good morning. Uh, the space that has really outdone themselves this quarter is uh, tyres. So all the tyre makers, Apollo, MRF, Seat, have reported spectacular numbers, as it should have been given how raw material prices have softened. Uh, but do you think there is still more upsides here for these names? Uh, good morning, Sonia. Uh, well, I believe that uh, upside definitely should be seen particularly from the point of view of the, uh, the automobile sales is picking up. And what my clear indication is on the commercial vehicles, particularly, I think some of the names which you mentioned, they definitely uh, have a larger segment of commercial vehicle in their portfolio. And that's where I believe that uh, going forward in coming two, three years also, I would think that demand is going to remain absolutely very, very strong on the commercial vehicle side so would be the demand for consumables, including tires. And should this uh, margin stability continue, uh, which I would like to believe that it will, then in such situation, I would think that the tire company would report comparatively steady numbers going forward. Not too sure whether all the companies are looking lucrative from the investment perspective, because I think some of them probably may have run up a little ahead of time. So they might have some pull off period uh, in between. But any correction in the price, certainly I think it augurs well for uh, buying this stock for price. Hmm. Uh, you know, the real estate space has been on fire off late as well, right? I mean, uh, most of these stocks have done well. The property market is booming. So, Devin, just stay on. We'll come to you in a bit because we have a gentleman who tracks the space very closely. 